We caught up with Congressman Kwaisi and Fume on a recent Friday afternoon at his campaign headquarters in the heart of Maryland's 7th House District. Yeah, well, you know. In the middle of a pandemic. This pandemic is so unusual that I don't think any of us will have a full appreciation of it until after we're, we're through it, and God bless all of us to get through it. In his early 70s, the progressive Democrat is in his fourth congressional election in less than a year. Seventh Congressional District of Maryland. After the death of his friend and Congressman Elijah Cummings, Mfume won the special election to fill Cummings' seventh district U.S. House seat, a seat Mr. Mfume held for the decade prior before leaving to lead the national NAACP, and a seat from which he says he's cast 108 votes in the last five months, says the first was for a second coronavirus relief package. People expect, rightly so, that the Congress and the White House will find a way to work together to get this done. We're still waiting on the White House. A White House, this candidate says, he's taken on in order to stand up for his constituents and legislative priorities. I have problems with bullies, and Donald Trump and I are in the same generation, so I have no problem calling him out whatsoever, as he, I'm sure, would try to call me out. But I don't like bullies. Shame, shame, shame. We are not going to stand for it. Particularly now in our pandemic. And the first topic, obviously, is health. Then it's followed by safety. And then it's followed by actions by governments to make life better. Kwaisi Mfume's life, which now includes nine grandchildren, is part of his message to voters. Born and raised in Baltimore, by the age of 16, he would drop out of high school, get drawn in by the streets, and watch his mother die of cancer in his arms. The night that she left, probably more than anything else is the night that I have lived with it ever since. My mother's love, you know. He beat the odds, went on to serve five and one-fifth terms in the United States Congress, and this November is asking voters to hire him once again. Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News. Kate, thank you for that profile. Mr. Mfume says he is not a fan of packing the court, as some Democrats are suggesting. He calls it a slippery slope and says nine is fine until he's shown otherwise. Tomorrow, we will profile Mfume's challenger, Republican candidate Kim Klasik, and you can see our profiles for Baltimore City mayoral candidates, Shannon Wright, Bob Wallace, and Brandon Scott in the WBAL-TV 11 News app and on our website, WBALTV.com.